Hello, and welcome to Katib Virtual Academy. My name is Tyler Hart. I'm thrilled to host you for this week's training and thought leadership session. Today's topic is, what's the difference? Vault Basic versus Vault Professional. Uh, just a reminder that all these sessions are recorded and available for distribution on Katib.com or on our YouTube channel. If you have questions during the session, please send those to the Q&A, and we'll get those answered as quickly as we can. Um, and I also want to bring up a few events that uh, you should probably be aware of. We have some upcoming KVA topics, including a session on designing space-ready electronics using ANSYS simulation. And the week after that is a session on optimizing your configuration, pricing, and quoting strategy for maximum impact. Also be aware that we're having an in-person session on, in San Jose on April 24th with ANSYS Distinguished Engineer Larry Williams. So if you're in the area, or if you're not, um, please feel free to join us for this happy hour style event. To attend these and other leadership sessions, go to kativcom slash manufacturing dash leaders dash exchange. So without further ado, let's get started. And if, again, if you have questions, send them to the Q&A and we will be here to get them answered. Thanks so much. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining today's KVA. I'm Tom Fitzgerald. And today we're going to be talking about the difference between Vault Professional and Vault Basic. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So as I stated, uh, Tom Fitzgerald, Senior Technical Solutions Executive here at Kati. Been here for about two years. Previous to that, I was at Autodesk for 10 years, uh, serving in a number of different roles, uh, Solution Architect, Implementation Consultant, really focusing around servicing our manufacturing companies with the Autodesk tool sets. Um, I've been working within the 3D design industry for over 25 years, and I have over 30 years of manufacturing industry experience, uh, serving in a number of different roles there as well, from engineering design to being out on the shop floor, welder fabricator, so a lot of experience in a number of different roles within the manufacturing industry. I'm also a U.S. Army veteran, and in my free time, I like to do a lot of um, research around World War II history. So today's topic. Um, before we get into that a little bit, I want to talk about this slide. I love showing this slide on the KVAs because it really kind of illustrates uh, the multifaceted capabilities that we have here at CATI, um, from sales and automation to design and CAD automation, to simulation and testing. And then, you know, once that information gets beyond that into more advanced manufacturing methodologies. But really the focus here is to understand that regardless of this different tools and service offerings that we have, at the center of it all is really around data. You know, if we think about all the different elements within manufacturing business, you know, be it in sales, in engineering, in, you know, on the manufacturing floor, we have different individuals with different roles and responsibilities, and they're all doing the same thing in regards to creating, consuming, modifying, searching for, reviewing information, data, right? So how do we then make that data available to everybody, regardless of their role and responsibility? Well, Autodesk Vault is one of those tools. So really understanding how um, data management or the system that you might use, processes that you might use around data management, is so valid and so important in terms of being a successful company. Okay, so today's topic around Vault Basic and Vault Professional. So even though there's a number of different flavors of Vault, uh, three flavors of Vault to be exact, you know, Vault Basic and Vault Professional are the two flavors of Vault that get a lot of attention. And today's topic in, in today's KVA is really to understand and highlight those differences. Why would you choose one? versus another. So first we'll go over some of the um, benefits of either one of these flavors of Vault. So Vault Basic being first. So it's included with uh, PDMC, so the Product Design and Manufacturing Collection. So that's the collection from Autodesk where you get Inventor, you get AutoCAD, and you get AutoCAD Electrical, you get other couple other tools. Vault Basic is included in that collection. So you basically get it free of charge, um, minus of course the uh, the level of effort that it takes to implement Vault Basic and get everything connected up so that way you're using it. So um, Vault Basic only works for very specific Autodesk products. So although you may be an Autodesk customer, you may be using their software, doesn't necessarily mean that you can use Vault Basic with that software. So it's kind of limited in, its re in that regard. 
Vault Basic is essentially a check-in, check-out repository type of tool. There's not a lot of extended functionality within Vault Basic. So if you're a relatively small company and you just want a place to store your information, be able to find it relatively easily, you know, Vault Basic might be a better option for you in terms of its price point, uh, the capabilities and how it could benefit you, uh, you, you and your company. Um, Vault Basic has some file association management, meaning say for instance, you're using Inventor, or you could even be using AutoCAD. If you have AutoCAD and you're using external references, there's that association between those files. If you're thinking about Inventor, think about the association and the dependencies between parts and assemblies and in parts assemblies to drawings. How do you manage that information? How do you maintain those associations? I'm sure every one of you that are using Vol, or rather any one of you that are using Inventor right now, you, know, you probably came across that situation where you've either moved a file or you renamed a file, and then you go and try to open up an assembly or a drawing, and then you get that dialog box that says resolve link, right? What happened to that file? What happened to its name? Did it get moved? Vault Basic eliminates those problems. So it manages those file associations as you rename or you move files around. It repairs those dependencies. So you never run across that issue. Uh, Vault Basic also has an intensive or extensive rather search functionality, meaning you know, you can search via a folder, you can be search via the entire vault, there's a different criteria you can use for that search. So a lot of the, the things that we come to understand as to be in the benefit of vault still exists within vault basic. Okay. So what about vault professional? So vault professional, as you might think with the, the naming convention here, vault basic, basic in its, uh, in, in its capabilities and functionality, vault professional, extends that functionality, gives you a little bit more to work with. It's primarily used for, say, those enterprise type of companies. You have many, many users, many different roles, and you want to organize and categorize and, and, and allow a lot of different peoples and with those roles and responsibilities to interact within Vault, right? So some of the things about Vault specifically, um, there is a cost associated to it. So the Vault client application has a, a cost associated to it. So the more users you have, depending on the roles and responsibilities, there is going to be um, a cost associated to using Vault Professional. Uh, Vault Pro works with all the Autodesk products. So regardless of what you have, you can still upload, um, consume information from Vault. You'll be able to uh, do a lot of the activities within Vault. Um, and a, a, there's a lot more of those other Autodesk products that have capability built into them to facilitate those processes and that functionality within Vault. So as you're in the tool, say Inventor or Revit, um, once you load Vault, you'll see a ribbon up there, and I'll demonstrate that here in a little bit, but you'll see a ribbon where you can do certain activities with Vault within the context of that authoring tool, where uh, with Vault Basic, you can only do that with certain applications, not all of them. Um, there are customizable properties within Vault Professional that you don't get in Vault Basic, meaning um, you can create very specific properties that um, don't necessarily uh, define everything that you need to understand about files within Vault. Um, maybe your business unit or your, your company as a whole has very specific information that you need to store inside of the Vault in the properties. Where Vault Basic doesn't allow that, Vault Professional gives you uh, full functionality in terms of the amount of custom properties you want to create and use. Um, because of the ability to create uh, customizable properties, we have an extended capability in terms of searching and reporting. So searching and reporting inside of the Vault is very dependent upon properties and property values. Uh, and those types of the type of those properties. Is it a date property? Is it a numerical property? Is it a textual property? Depending on the type can also extend some of that functionality as well. Within Vault Professional, you have the ability to categorize information differently. Um, you can develop a workflow by utilizing life cycles and how you can transition from one life cycle to another, informing additional or other users as to 
you know, certain responsibilities, as well as being able to uh, control and um, work with revision management. So if you have a revision management or revision control policy, we can typically replicate that or create one for you within Vault Professional uh, to facilitate that change management. Uh, once again, something else that you can't get or don't get with Vault Basic. Um, and the last bullet point here is really important because we see a lot of this more and more as we engage with companies is being able to integrate their PDM, like Vault Professional, to another system like an ERP or a CRM. You know, having um, a single source of truth, but being able to connect to different systems and maybe automate some of that uh, property value information and how it flows within your business, that can really streamline and optimize how you function as a business in terms of time to market, quality of information, as well as you know being able to allow more time for users to be a little bit more imaginative or innovative in terms of um, how they consider their, their the different products that your company produces, as well as maybe the 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 way that you produce those products. So there's a lot of ancillary benefits as well in terms of being able to optimize your process by using a tool like Vault, uh, Vault Professional. Right? All right, so with all this being said, let's focus a little bit on the Vault architecture. So if you're not familiar with Vault and you just kind of join in this KVA to learn a little bit more about the differences, the Vault architecture is broken down like this, where you have client machines that have an application on them and they connect to a Vault server. And what we call this is the, the ADMS, the Autodesk Data Management Server. Okay, so this is the, the core, the central processing unit, if you will, of the Vault system, right? It manages everything. Another element that's involved is Microsoft SQL Server. Um, this is a database application. So as information is taken from the client machine, you're communicating with the Vault server, you're uploading information to the Vault server. Vault is then interrogating those files, capturing specific information, some of it is from properties, and then indexing it within these Microsoft SQL Server databases. And this is really what allows for file organization, the maintenance of file associations and dependencies, as well as being able to do advanced searching and reporting. Without that SQL Server database, it would be a little bit more challenging. It's really the, the core of the, the functionality around Vault. Um, the other element is really, the last element really is the file store. So as we take files and check them into the vault, they go from our machine to the vault server. The vault server in, uh, captures information, indexes it within SQL, and then takes that file and puts it within the file store. It secures it. Think of it as a literal bank vault. It goes from your machine, it goes into the file store, information is stored within SQL server, and that vault server is really managing all of that. It's orchestrating all of those all those elements and making sure they work uh, seamlessly, okay? So on the bottom, the bullet point there, Vault Basic does not provide replication to multiple sites, whereas Vault Professional does. And what this means is if you have uh, a larger business, like an enterprise business, you potentially have numerous sites. Uh, to be able to have your information in a geographically uh, relevant uh, location, really close to where your users are, obviously uh, improves performance, reduces latency, allows people to be able to uh, leverage that information in the most efficient manner. So if you have a location on the East Coast, you have a location on the West Coast, you may want to store the information from those locations locally to reduce that, that latency. However, you want those two SQL or those two vault servers to communicate with one another to make sure that they stay synchronized. So those individuals on the East Coast can see information on the West Coast and be able to consume and leverage that information just as easily, just as, easily as if they were on the West Coast. So uh, replication can be extremely beneficial if you have you know, dis, uh, dispersed work groups uh, geographically you know, separate from one another, and you wanna give them that user experience as if they were all working in the same office building. Vault Pro can provide that for you. All right, so here's a breakdown as to what the key differences are. I wanted to show this graphic. So in terms of cost, as I stated, Vault Pro has a cost associated to it. 
regardless of the flavor vault, you can have as just as many users as you want. Um, so you have 20 users that, and you want to use Vault Basic, not a problem. Um, file properties. Um, this is a little uh, misnomer here. There are some file, there are pro file properties that are supported within Vault Basic, just not custom properties. Um, whereas in Vault Professional, you can create custom properties. Um, both of them have search capabilities. Vault Pro has advanced search capabilities simply because we do have the capability of create those to be to be able to create those custom properties. Um, we have file classification within Vault Professional does not exist in Vault Pro. We can facilitate a workflow by controlling files as they transition from one state to another within Vault Professional. Unfortunately, not in Vault Basic. You can integrate with other Autodesk products in Vault Pro, not so much with Vault Basic. You can integrate with ERP systems and CRMs with Vault Pro, not so much with Vault Basic. And then, of course, um, the last one on this in this uh, column, these this side of the slide, <coughs> automation. So there are some out of the box automation routines you can leverage within Vault Pro. Um, and then, of course, there's the entire Vault API. So if you want to customize some automation, you know, people here at Katif, we can definitely help you out with that as well. On the right hand side here of the, of the of the slide, working with X reference, I stated this before file associations, both flavors of vault work with file associations and being able to manage those. Um, there's also uh, advantages in terms of access. Um, the bottom on the right hand side says web access vault pro does provide a thin client so you have web access where in vault basic you don't. Uh, file version management, both flavors manage versions, both flavors of Vault manage versions. What this means is as you check in and check out from Vault and make changes, um, Vault captures those changes um, in a full file format, meaning it's not just collecting the delta, it's collecting the entire file. And what this allows you to do as a Vault user is you can maintain or, or or store the evolution of a design. So as a, a design evolves and changes are being made, you can capture critical moments within that process and store it in the vault. Um, that way you can either refer back to a previous version um, or um, you can at least have visibility to how something may have changed over time. So extremely important to have file version management. Revision management, I stated before, is only available in Vault Professional. Replication as well, and then access from mobile devices. This is a really interesting capability with Vault Professional, being able to use your Android or Apple device to be able to access information in Vault. Right, extremely valuable um, graphic here to understand the difference between Vault Professional and Vault Basic. So, in summary. Vault Professional is much more advanced in terms of its features and capability. It really is intended for more of that enterprise type of company, many different users, many different roles and responsibilities, maybe um, segregated or separated teams, geographically separated teams, um, being able to integrate with other systems. Vault Pro really fits the bill in that, in that particular situation. Whereas maybe you know, maybe you're just getting into the PDM game. Maybe data management like Vault is, is new to you and you want to start out small and scale. Well, start with Vault Basic. There is an evolution path between these flavors of Vault. So there is nothing wrong with starting with Vault Basic, really getting a feel for how it works, how it can benefit you as a company. Start developing those data management workflows with some of the other tools that you use, be it Microsoft Office, be it some of the other Autodesk products, start really getting a feel for what it can do for you and defining those workflows. And then as you need additional functionality, then start moving towards Vault Professional. Start uh, leveraging categories, life cycles, revision management, change control, things like that. So perfect opportunity to get involved with Vault. If you're not using it today, please check these flavors out. Um, and then of course, if you need any additional information, do not hesitate to reach out to us here at, at uh, Kativ. We'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions and provide insight as to how data management can help you and, of course, which flavor is best for your particular situation. So 
With that being said, we're going to open up for a Q&A now. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat or um, reach out to us at the support line here or um, give, us a, give us a shout uh, via email at uh, support at kativ.com. All right. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tom. Um, as usual, fantastic information. Um, we did have one question about work group. Is work group still active at the moment? So from my uh, recollection, I think work group is be, uh, has been sunset. I think there's only the three flavors now, and that's basic, life cycle, and um, and uh, professional. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. Very good. Um, if there are any other questions, please feel free to drop them in the Q&A. Otherwise, um, like we said earlier, this will be on kativ.com or on our YouTube channel. And there's a lot of other great stuff coming up. So Tom, thank you so much for your time today. And we look forward to having you back. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Tyler. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.